Good evening, Metalon families. Welcome once again to our Metalon Friday Five, which is five things that you need to know right now from Metalon. So we're going to head into an amazing weekend. I just want to say great job this week. Parents, students, staff members, what a wonderful job. This was a great week, a good start to the year. Um, man, our students are engaged already and learning, and they're moving very quickly, and things are uh going very, very well for us here at Metalon. So I just want to thank all of you that are watching this. Uh, what a great start. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Number one, and it's a really important one, and that is COVID safety. Um, unfortunately, if you haven't heard already, we did have to quarantine a couple of our classrooms, the majority of those classrooms, and it's because um, they were in close contact with um, someone that did have COVID, and so they had to quarantine. And because of that, um, the, the quarantine mainly happened because um, students were not masked. And it is your prerogative, and I understand that. Um, there were a select group of students that have been masking, and they, are, they were able to come to school, and the students that were not masking were not able to come to school. And that was that's a tough piece. Um, we were kind of lucky that it wasn't a very long quarantine based off of uh, what the Erie County Health Department gave us. But normally, quarantines last a couple of weeks, and we don't want your students to miss uh, a couple of weeks of school. So I'm just going to ask you, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to ask you to really think hard about making sure to uh, wear a mask. I'm going to be just asking, because it, it's not something I can make sure that everybody has to do. Um, but just understand this, if you don't wear a mask then you're opening yourself to a couple of things. Number one, you could have your child quarantined, and if they do, um, it's going to be tough for you. As a parent, some, you have things that you have to do every day, or you might have to go to work, um, and things like that. And so if they're quarantined, then you're going to have to create an environment for your student to be able to work at home. And secondly, if they're quarantining, then they're losing a great opportunity to have in-school instruction, which um, I think we all understand now how important that is. It's a really important part of, of a student's life. So if you could help us, that would be great. We're all a family, and I believe in this, and I think that it's really important for all of us to think about that. When we're sending our child to school, um, we don't want them to have to miss school due to quarantining. And so um, really think hard, and I'm just going to ask you um, from the bottom of my heart, please Think about sending your kid to school with a mask. We don't want this uh, thing to keep going on. Thank you. Um, now I'm going to speed through the other ones because I'm going to try to keep it under uh, five minutes. Number two is our dismissal. Uh, we thank you for your patience and your kindness uh, to your fellow to the fellow drivers, and um, you are doing a great job with that. Uh, just a reminder: uh, Faith Church um, is allowing us to use their um, their parking lot. And if you notice the last couple of days, it was a little tough because they're, uh, they're repaving it. But it's awesome because we probably use their parking lot more than they do. And they don't charge us anything. They don't ask us. They, they're very, very kind about it. They actually like us using their parking lot, believe it or not. And so um, a big shout out to Faith Church for allowing us to do that every single day. I know it was a little tough the last couple of days, and um, but we thank you. Thank you to Faith Church and thank you to our families for making sure to follow the rules the best they can and to avoid um, avoid collisions and avoid um, hopping in front of each other in line because that can create problems and it's not very kind. If you have anything that you want, if you have any thoughts that maybe we could change to help that out, feel free to let us know. Communicate with us. Let us know. We'll be happy to try that. Um, all right, number three, thank you so much to our bus drivers. They are the unsung heroes of our district. They do an amazing job for us here. Um, I think it's probably the toughest job because not many people think about a bus driver unless a bus driver does something that uh, they shouldn't do, you know, but they are probably the most overlooked people in our district. So maybe if you get a chance, thank a bus driver, say thank you to them, maybe even have a, your student give them a card or something like that. I think that would be really, really helpful. Number four is student engagement. Our students are so engaged in school right now. Um, they're engaged. Right now, we're really focusing on them engaging with each other and creating opportunities for them to work together. It's really, really important. That in-person piece of school is so important. 
Um, we are not just about academics here. We are all about making sure that we give students life skills that go far beyond school. Even at the ages of, that we have in third, fourth, and fifth grade, we are already starting to work on those life skills. We call them soft skills, those skills that they need to be able to um, improve their lives. There are so many great things in our building that we're doing right now. Um, our, our teachers are working hard on all kinds of things. And so uh, thank you to our staff for that. And then number five um, is you can follow us on social media and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Right now, um, Twitter and Facebook are by far our biggest followers. We only have eight followers right now on Instagram. And so you can follow us on, at, uh, let's see, Metal on School on Instagram. If you're an Instagram follower, I'd love to see that thing uh, boom. And the more it booms, the more we'll add to that. We are going to work hard at showing you in-depth things of what's going on in our school at the minute and so we'll post things during the school day you could check your social media it's a great way to keep up with us here at Metalon um, so we want to show you all about our instruction the things that we do uh, not just that we have fun which we do we have a lot of fun here at Metalon but we also work hard on the instruction of our students the students know their number one job here is to learn um, it is important um, for us to know that we are very, very focused on the academic needs of all of our students and we love them all dearly and we love their mind and we love their heart. So thank you very much. That is our Metalon 5 for the night and go Pirates!